Hey guys, it's Stephen here, back with another video. How are you all doing in very, very, very hot Manchester today? It's like 30 degrees outside. I've been absolutely roasting on my way home from work, and uh, it's nice though to be back indoors in the shade, talking football. Though I probably will go out later, if I'm being honest, find somewhere to sit in the summer, Nicola. Uh, but today we're going to talk about loads of transfer rumours. But as ever, I want to say thank you to One Football for subscribing, subscribing, no, subscribing. I hope they subscribe to this channel for supporting this channel. It's my favourite app on the market by an absolute uh, country mile. Genuinely, it's free. Keeps you up to date with loads of transfer news. So if you haven't downloaded it already, click the link in the description below. It's absolutely excellent. I promise you, go and download it right now. I also want to say thank you to my latest patrons, um, Callum Senior. I met a Callum the other day at Book of Mormon in Manchester. Callum, if that's you, and I've got a feeling it might be, thank you very much. And also, Aman Wazim, thank you. You guys are absolute heroes of getting involved. Patreon.com forward slash esteem company if you want. Also, get a shout out and get your name in the credits and all that kind of stuff. And don't forget, if you are a Manchester City fan, hit that subscribe button and loads of incredible content. If I don't say so myself, uh, I can't really. You be the decider of that. I'm sure everyone in the comments will agree. Um, and you won't miss a video. But today, we've got loads to talk about. We're going to talk about uh, Sony a little bit, Adorabayo, and also the man that's on the thumbnail, Thiago Almada. Now, we're always linked to these wonder kids very, very frequently. And this is another one that we've been linked to. And I actually was thinking, I swear I recognise that name from somewhere. And I Googled it. Um, and I found a compilation video. And I remember him scoring a goal like several months ago and being all over Twitter about this really skillful young lad that burst through in Argentina. And it was the same lad. I thought, I recognise that goal. And now, Thiago Maldi, if you don't know loads about him, I'll give you a brief overview is of his ability and why people are excited. Uh, he kind of broke through the season in the Superliga uh, and he kind of got into Gabriel Heinz's team. Now, Gabriel Heinz obviously is the ex United player, ex Argentina defender. He's the manager over there and he played 16 games under uh, his watchful eye, scoring three goals and it ended up playing, finishing sixth place in the, um, the Argentinian Premier League there. Um, and that's quite a big achievement for a lad. He was only 17 when he broke through. He's 18 now and he's got a really, really uh, big reputation already. He's burst out the same kind of neighbourhood of Carlos Tevez so Buenos Aires uh, Forte Apache which I love the name of that uh, the Forte Apache neighbourhood and apparently he's got that same kind of like tenacity to his game and from what I've seen online and obviously I don't watch the Argentinian Premier League very often but what I've seen online he has that same kind of like uh, fierce drive to his game that real bulldozing spirit he's only a small lad but he has this ability to really just run people and he's very 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 tenacious and I love that and his close control and his finishing is really really exciting I can see why people are getting very carried away by how good this guy lad could potentially be. He's already caught up for Argentina in the 20s as well. Uh, it looks like City are one of the ones that want him. Now, uh, even like uh, Heinz himself said, I was a bit nervous, but I couldn't hold him back because he's that good, which is always very encouraging sign. He said the kid just wants it, which is nice as well. So if you get a young player that has not only has like uh, loads of ability technically, but also has the right heart and hunger for it, I guess in that neighborhood, it breeds those kind of players. Well, then you've got like a perfect concoction of a player there. And City are getting closer and closer now the news keeps changing hourly and you know because that's what happens you get different reports from different journalists but all things point towards City eventually agreeing around a 16 million euro deal um, they've already rejected a 12 million euro deal they currently want to get him to sign a new contract for Les um which will inc include a higher release fee clause, which they hope City will pay. Obviously, the agent probably doesn't want that to happen because then City might not let buy him. But I think it'll actually will go through. There's too much noise around this. Um, even the fact that Boca Juniors have apparently entered the race, I can't see them being interested in staying Argentina. I think what will happen is that eventually there'll be some kind of middle ground. Maybe it's 18 million euros or something like that will just about seal the deal. Um, and what is going to happen after that is that he's going to go to Sporting um, on loan over in Portugal. Now City obviously have got a bit of a link up with them at the moment. It seems to be quite well publicised. The idea being that they could, um, you know, just some kind of like transfer, kind of like you scratch our back, we'll scratch your back kind of thing um, and that would work quite well for both parties if we can get him and send him on loan to there in a league where he could clearly fulfill some of his potential and maybe get him back at City in a year or two when he's ready to be a bit of a star that would be very very exciting wouldn't it I like the look at this lad a lot um, I'll be honest for you as always on this channel um, I don't know loads about him because I just don't seem to have time to watch that league but he does seem one of those very worthy punts the kind of player that 
wouldn't be quite ready yet because he'd just be so hard to get into this team, especially as a wide kind of winger forward kind of thing, especially when we've got loads of players in those positions. But somewhere on loan where we can keep a very close eye on him uh, and he can actually play at a higher level and he can improve uh, a good club, something like Sporting, that would be absolutely beneficial to both parties. And this one, I think, will actually happen. Very exciting. The next Messi, probably not, because who is going to be the next Messi? But the next... Uh, very, very good Argentinian wonder kid. Oh, he definitely is that. So, fingers crossed he can sign Manchester City, go on loan and prove his potential there. And also, Leroy Sane. Now, there's been quite a few reports over the past 24 hours, and depending on which side of the... Uh, or well, I guess depending if you're in the UK or Germany, you'll probably re believe certain reports more than others. Now, there's been lots of very kind of defiant Manchester City reports, which, which we haven't seen much of, really. Largely, we've seen... Um, uh, mainly come from the German side of the press with like Karl Heinz, uh, their CEO, really kind of going out and saying, we're going to get him, all this kind of stuff. And he wants to come and loads of kind of really obnoxious kind of flirting with Sarney publicly. But uh, there were some reports yesterday uh, that apparently City dismissed the idea that the negotiating is totally spurious. That was inside at Manchester City. And City have started to kind of uh, really kind of hit back on this run. Apparently, according to Sky Sports sources, um, there's been no talks between buying uh, Manchester City for Lee with Sarni, no bids have been received and Sarni has not expressed a desire to leave the Etihad this summer. Um, that sounds about right really. I don't think City and uh, Bayern have talked at any point. Um, I believe that in general Bayern will only really put a bid in when Sarni makes it explicitly clear that he wants to leave and I also believe that Sarni hasn't actually expressed that desire. For me, and I've said this before a billion times, I think City are getting increasingly more frustrated with Bayern. I think they'll tell Bayern that they can do one. And the idea that Bayern could get him on a cheap, even next summer, would not really kind of enter the equation at all. Even with a year left on his contract, if we kept him around for a year, I'm pretty certain as soon as he's available in the market, the likes of PSG and Real Madrid would offer at least an extra 20, 30 million pounds more than Bayern would. He'd get into a bidding war and he'd easily, in my opinion, reach 100 million, even with a year on his contract. He's that good a prospect. He's that talented. Uh, and I can't see Bayern uh, outbidding those teams. So I don't think City will kind of cave into Bayern's like really low valuation of around 70 odd, 80 million for him. Uh, he's worth much more than that. He's potentially a like, Ballon d'Or when he's that good. I think in general, Sarni probably does want to stay. I think he's pretty content. But you got to look at him from his perspective. He didn't really play that much last year. Um, he's up for a new contract. He's got a lot of the big clubs in the world after him. It'd almost be stupid for him to come out and say one thing guy away because he would lessen his stance with one club or another he's kind of playing these two teams against each other at the moment uh, to basically get his best wage back I know a City fans is frustrating but if I was a City player well I'm a City fan so not a rally but if I was a player I had no emotional attachment to the club I would probably do the same thing for the best of my career, really, because he's got nothing to lose. There was some worrying quotes about uh, Guardiola comparing it to the Sancho case, saying there's nothing we can do. Like Sancho, we offer the contract if he wants to stay, he will do. Which is a little bit frustrating because it shows a little bit worrying, even because it shows that Guardiola maybe is a little bit frustrated with this scenario and how it's been dragging out. Because the Sancho one, uh, the Sancho one, obviously didn't end very well. Having said that, I think that's just Guardiola probably just making a comparison that he, he feels fair. I think you'll stay. I think you'll stay. I'm not worried at all. I think uh, we've seen some signs of City leaking some info for the first time, which suggests that City are getting a bit pissed off with Bayern being a bit over about all this kind of thing. And I think in general what happened is he will stay and at some point during the season he'll sign a contract. Bayern are trying to get him to say something publicly. He'll go to City and he's not willing to do that by the looks of it, which means they're floundering a little bit and trying more and more devious tactics. But it ain't going to work, lads. But they... Uh, and after that, finally, we've got Tosin Adarabayo, a man who's kind of been on the periphery of the squad for a while. Uh, he had a loan last season, obviously, at West Brom, which he did okay, allegedly. He played a lot in like a right wing back position at times, and he played all over the place. Uh, sometimes he played okay, apparently. Sometimes he's pretty awful, for what I can tell, if I'm being honest. Uh, brutally honest, sadly. Um, he has filled out a bit, so he looks like he's getting less of that kind of like Bambi kind of caught in the headlights kind of stance that he's always had. But the rumours are now that he's going on loan to Blackburn Rovers. Um, which would be an interesting loan for him. He needs to get a season playing in his preferred position in the championship and centre back, and maybe it could be useful to someone at some point. I've sadly gone past the the realization that he's going to be useful to Manchester City. I can't really see him ever getting a chance in our squad anymore. Having said that, you never know. It could be a season where he massively steps up in the championship. Uh, Otamendi will be going most likely the year from now, which leaves only really Stones and Laporte as senior centre backs. 
So there will be a space for someone. It could it be Adarabayo? He'd have to be 100% better than he was last season. But it's very possible now he's got used to that level of football that he can start to find his own in a team. A good team like Blackburn in terms of a big club, obviously, with a good fan base and a good level. Um, it could be a decent move for him. Personally, um, I don't think he'll quite make it Manchester City, uh, but I think he'll have a very good career for himself. Uh, and I think this could be a season where he's much better than he was last year. Hopefully, you'll get games in his preferred role. What is it about clubs getting centre-backs and just playing him at right-back or something like that? He's not a right-back and never, ever will be. Decent player, definitely, but not ever going to be a right-back. Good luck to Tosin Adarabayo. Other than that, Manchester City obviously got friendly tomorrow against uh, Kitchi or whatever. Uh, it's going to be a, a, probably a less stern test, if we're being honest, than the previous friendly games of West Ham and Wolves. Um, and I'm hoping we'll get to see Phil Foden back. He's now back in training. Guardiola's been talking about how he's in great shape at the moment. Um, he's also been talking about, as well, how the young lads have been impressing him and maybe one or two of them will get a chance in the season if they show the right attitude and all that kind of stuff and if they prove their performances. So I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing maybe a few more youngsters tomorrow. As ever though, there will be a match reaction pretty much immediately after the ah, got tongue tied, I'm tired, immediately after the game is finished. Guys, let me know what you make of these rumours. Can you see Thiago Amado coming to Manchester City and then starring over in Portugal? Will Leroy Sarni stay? What do you make of Tosad Rabayo? And let me know what you want me to talk about in future videos and all that kind of stuff. Thank you as ever to these guys here scrolling down the side patreon.com forward slash esteem company if you want to get involved too and get a shout out and all that kind of stuff don't forget if you're a Manchester City fan hit that subscribe button if you're just a football fan hit that subscribe button like comment and all that kind of stuff and I'll see you very soon